Yes. What's going on YouTube? Game Art back again with episode 32 of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Let's Play. Last episode we finished it off with, oh god, I, I need to remember these routes, man. Route 12. We finished off with Route 12. Making our way south to Fuchsia City along the east side of Kanto because we didn't go this way originally. Now I'm curious what Pokemon pop up in here as I'm speaking. <laughs> so last episode we ended off things right around here. And I said today we're going to continue on with Route 13. Um, yeah, hopefully our episodes don't become this is the Route 12 episode. This is the Route 13 episode. Things like that. Hopefully, I don't know, I expected a boatload of trainers. But man, it's a lot. Like it keeps getting longer and longer, the, the gauntlet of trainers they put us under. Anyway, without wasting any time, let us get into today's episode. Let's go over the squad real quick. We are This is Let's Go Pikachu, so we are rocking the original Pikachu they give you at the beginning of the game. We have the original three Kanto starters, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. And our newest member to the squad, Dragonair. He's trying to catch up. And yeah. Can't really use him right now because he's under level, but hopefully he will be coming in handy soon. And Staryu, pretend Staryu's not there. Staryu's just giving, getting some level ups. Not going to use Staryu at all. So without further ado, let us continue on. Uh, you see, like stuff like this, I feel like they could have just done a double battle. Uh, I'm going to use Pikachu for these two. <sighs> Why aren't these like double battles? I gave my Pokemon a quick candy. Well, good for you, man. Your Pokemon's gonna be fast. Well, guess what? My Pikachu excels in speed, Camper Nash. So let's see how fast you outspeed. <sighs> he knew I was using. He knew this was Let's Go Pikachu. Decided to bust out Sandshrew. What can I even do again? I can do Splishy Splash. Oh, can I outspeed? All right, protect is priority. That was. He did not outspeed. Priority just like it's priority move. All right, you can't protect again. It's like he knew, like, oh no, it's Pikachu. He knows Splishy Splash. This is Let's Go Pikachu. All right, get that out of here. Ever since the episode with the Gambler on Route, is it seven or 11? I can't remember which one. I think it's 11, west of, east of Vermilion City. The Gambler with the Diglett. Ever since that guy got off a Fissure attack on me, I've been very skeptical, skeptical about using Pikachu against ground types anymore. So this is me dipping my toe back into the water after that fateful encounter where that guy got a 30% one hit KO move off on our Pikachu here. I'll never forget that nightmare. Every single gambler has gotten those moves off on me and they're only 30% accurate. <sighs> Oh, too bad. I just messed up. Well, looks like your Pokemon didn't outspeed. I see Krabby in there. Hmm. I'm told I'm good for a kid. Me too. Aren't we like the same age? Susie, you got two Pokemon. What do you got? Jigglypuff? I don't have anything for Jigglypuff. I really need Venusaur, our resident poison type on the squad, to get an actual poison type move besides Toxic. And unfortunately, it doesn't know Poison Jab. It can't learn Poison Jab. I already tried it. But it can learn Toxic, and Toxic will help. But uh, I need something... Uh, yeah, keep battling. I need something that's an actual poison type move on the squad. And so far, no one's got a good poison type move. Um, yeah, we're gonna do floaty fall. That should help. Like this is an all-in-one Pikachu right here. Like it's got one of everything. You you try and send out grass types, I have floaty fall. You send out rock ground types, I have splishy splash. Pikachu can't be beat. Oh, I lost. Great balls. Why do they only give two great balls instead of uh, three? Is that because they're the kid trainers? So the kid trainers don't have a lot of um, money to give? Route 13. Silence Bridge. I don't remember Silence Bridge. That was a long distance to see me. Yeah, go ahead and walk. 
That's a long distance to see me. Sure, I'll play with you, sweetie. I don't know why that sounded creepy. <laughs> Stranger Danger, Beauty Lola. Chancy. Oh, someone got lucky. Someone got lucky and found a wild Chansey. Or got to the Safari Zone before they decided to close it down. Alright, Chansey is still normal type, I think. It's not fairy. I think. Yes. Alright. <laughs> it's like, I'm taking a chance. I know some normal types from Gen 1 got switched over to fairy type. Clefairy is straight up clear. Fairy. Wow. Clefairy. Whatever. You're strong. Clefairy is straight up fairy type. Jigglypuff is normal and fairy type. And Chansey is still straight up uh, uh, normal type, apparently. I don't know why. I thought Chansey was one of them that might have got changed to fairy. It looks like it would make sense. All right, let's take on this guy. I don't know why I thought of saving. We only went through, what, three trainers? Have a battle with me in this hidden place. It's not that hidden, man. I mean, it is... I would put a secret hideout here, but it's not that hidden. Kite? Kite? Game Freak. <clears throat> You're just busting out the, the names from left and right, huh? Coming out of the woodwork. Kite? I never heard of someone named Kite. <clears throat> this thing is level 39? Jeez. Alright, so I could go for Brick Break. I'm gonna do Splishy Splash, because it's times four effective. I could have done Brick Break, but it only would have been times two, I think. Because fighting isn't necessarily strong against ground type, but it's good against rock time. So times two. Uh, Haunter. Ooh, um. Switch. We got something for that. Blastoise. Blastoise has Dark Pulse, which is awesome that it learned that. That's better than Bite. I'll take Dark Pulse over Bite any day. Um. Blastoise isn't exactly speedy, so Bite isn't going to get it, get off a bunch of flinches, so I'm perfectly fine giving it uh, Dark Pulse. I think Dark Pulse will flinch, but I'm not I'm not too concerned with that. Alright, so we're just going to knock off Will-O-Wisp, just so he can get me some way. Hey man, you've taken down my team way too fast. I'm just going to bust out Will-O-Wisp, so technically I do a little bit of damage to you. That's exactly what this guy decided to do. You know, I haven't really been paying attention to the CP numbers. I know that they're supposed to represent, like, in Pokemon Go. Um, like, like, hey, you know, like, your CP is pretty high. This is a pretty strong Pokemon. Um, but really, I've been doing it by the level of how strong a Pokemon is. I haven't really been paying attention to CPs. Um, now I'm curious who has the highest CP on the squad. Alright, so Magneton should be weak against Brick Break now that it is Steel-type. Um, no longer just straight up electric. Are you gonna do tri attack? Light screen. Do your light screen, man. You wasted a turn. <laughs> I say this every episode we run into an ace trainer. I want that jacket. I want to do this let's play wearing the ace trainer jacket. Pokemon Center, make it happen. I will purchase one. I want an ace trainer jacket. Same design from this game. I lost, but no one was watching us, right? Because it's a secret place? I get it. Because no one knows about the secret place. Alright, so I saw a Krabby. Oh, there's two Krabby. There's three Krabbies. Alright. I already have a Krabby and a Kingler. But I kind of want the... Uh... Can I catch it with a Pokeball? That might be tough. You know what? I got enough Pokeballs. I already caught a Krabby. I got a Kingler. But I also kind of want a, a Living Dex. Um, oh, sweet. I caught it. For those of you who don't know what the Living Dex is, it's where you have one of every single Pokemon from the Pokedex in, well, used to be in your storage, but in in your Pokemon box, essentially. So you would have one Krabby and one Kingler. You wouldn't just have caught a Krabby and then involved it. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, there was, oh, that's true. The Pokeball over here. I forgot about that. Yeah, we PP up. I was going to say, we want the uh, Pokeball for sure. Um, you know what? I'm gonna catch. It's all about catching in this game. Let's catch another Krabby. Um, if anything, I can transfer them to Profe Oh, that was weak. 
I can transfer them over to Professor Oak and get some extra candies. All right. Even though it's more on the red side, I'm catching them with Pokeballs. So that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, unless I start doing shiny hunting for a Pokemon you can find at the beginning of the game, um, I'm not really going to have a need for and Chansey appears. You see that? All because I'm starting to combo, the rare spawn for this area appears. It's just here to break my combo. Just like in Mount Moon on the Clefairy episode, little did I know because I was catching so many Clefairy in a row. That's why we had two Chanseys decide to pop up on us. Just to tempt us. Thou shalt tempt the uh, trainer. Wow, that was a lot of experience. For a Krabby? I don't know why, like, I know it's not necessarily a level up, but every time I see the experience points go into the thousands, I'm like, whoa, that's a lot. All right, I'm not too concerned about combo comboing Krabbies, so I will actually no, because Chansey at this level is going to be rare. I was going to say, I'll catch a Chansey. I don't care about breaking the combo right now, but um, Chanseys are straight up red, and I don't feel like wasting Pokeballs just to catch the Chansey. Alright, so this is Bird Keeper. Pikachu should do well against Bird Keeper. I always go with the bird Pokemon. I've dedicated myself to them. Bird Keeper, Robert. Roberto. Dodo. Is the other one a Dodrio? By any chance? So, so far, we're doing pretty good. Besides Blastoise getting that burn, which there's nothing we could have done to fight that. Um, we're, we're doing pretty good at the start of this episode. We're starting off strong. Granted, I'm starting off with Pikachu, and Pikachu is my ace on this squad. Pidgeotto, send your Pidgeotto into battle. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Pidgeotto over. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So the goal is, all right, while we go through this, the goal is I will come through the east side of Kanto, down these routes, into Fuchsia City. We already beat Koga in Fuchsia City, but the idea is we didn't go through this path before to get to Fuchsia City, so I'm missing out on items, trainers, maybe rare Pokemon that we haven't caught yet. So I'm adding this as part of the Let's Play to see what is over here. Out of power! That's what he says? All right. Um, so once we get, once we make it to Fuchsia City via this route, um, I will be going back to, not Celadon. Why do I keep wanting to call it Celadon? It's the city in the middle of all the other cities. Shoot. Can't think. We'll be going back to take on Sabrina, and I think Silphscope is, um, part of the, uh, that city as well. Alright, so that's a bug catcher. I'm going to switch in Charizard, because I know Charizard can wipe out bug Pokemon with its fire and flying type moves. Wow, your badges are too cool. I don't know why, but I feel like the trainer model for these bug catchers should have been, what's his name? Weevil Underwood from uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime? I think that's his name. For some reason, I feel like it should have been more designed and geared towards uh, that. Alright, so Scyther is flying and bug, so we're gonna do some fire type moves. We're gonna do some fire spin shenanigans against this thing. Oh, that almost okoed. Almost. And this thing decides to do. What was it? Whirlwind? I actually didn't see while I'm rubbing my eye. Well, I'm rubbing my eye. Alright, I'm going to do Wing Attack. It's not going to be super effective, I don't think. Oh, it is. It still is. Alright, I thought it would be a little resisted since it's also a flying type, but whatever. Pinsir. Oh, you got both of them. Keep battling. Oh, is he going to Mega Evolve? I'm waiting for trainers to Mega Evolve. Every time I see the Pokemon that, that could potentially Mega Evolve, it's like, is this it? I know Mega Evolution is a thing in this game, but when is it going to happen? And he's got Pinsir, and it's like, oh, this is when it's going to happen. He's, <laughs> Why not? Why wouldn't this be the time where it happens? 
I don't have any uh, Mega Stones or, uh, or or what you call it. Why wouldn't this be the time that some trainer just goes, oh, you know what? <laughs> Alright, so I thought there were hidden items around here in the original games, but I'm not finding any. Um, yeah, so... Alright, so... I have a feeling she's going to have a ground or poison type. I don't know. I... I never can tell from the picnicker and camper uh, trainers like what it is they're gonna use. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. Picnicker Gwen. Raticate. Or it could just be a mouse. She could just have a mouse Pokemon. And I sent in Blastoise for no strategic value. <laughs> All right, uh, what's gonna do? I'm gonna use Protect, cause I have a feeling it's gonna click Sucker Punch or something. All right, I'm gonna Protect. I know I'm burned, but I'm just curious, what Crunch? I was gonna say, I'm just curious, what move is she gonna use? Like, like coming out of the, uh, coming out of the get-go, like what is she gonna do? Super, I was expecting Super Fang, which is so BS. Alright, so I obviously don't outspeed this Raticate. So it's gonna click Super Fang or something again. Um, I am going to use Headbutt. I don't know why. Yeah, I really, I really dislike that Raticate can learn Super Fang and Super Fang just cuts your HP in half. Doesn't matter. Um, I would kind of expect that ability. What was that, Golduck? I would kind of expect that ability on, um, let's take out, nope, Golduck Psychic, I can't use Venusaur. I would expect that, I'm gonna finish this dang sentence, I would expect that, I don't even know what I was gonna say, shoot. <laughs> I would expect that on a legendary or mythical Pokemon, not one of the most easiest Pokemon you can catch in this game. That just seems wrong to me that it can learn such a move, but I guess that helps add value to why you would use that Pokemon at all. That, and I think Raticate can learn Blizzard. I don't know of anyone that rocks a Raticate uh, that uses Blizzard, but I think it is a possibility. I forget if it's through breeding or it can just learn it via the TM. Okay, so we're going to switch out Blastoise, Pikachu. For some reason I have to keep rubbing my eyes this episode. Alright, that beauty is going to want to fight next. I swear, I thought there were items. Yeah, Pikachu's wagging his tail. Okay, whoa, a golden pineapple berry. Alright, I'll take that. Does that respawn once a day? I, I was going to say, I could have sworn there were items all around here in the original game. Because I remember coming here with the, uh, the item finder. And it was just going crazy. Alright, that's the continuation of the route. I don't want to continue. I wonder if you can catch Ditto around here. I know we're getting close to where you could find it in the original. Um, I have no clue if Ditto will spawn. What is even... Is Ditto going to be like in Pokemon Go where it's cloned and it looks just like another Pokemon in the wild? That would be so wrong. Do you want to battle some Pokemon with me? Do you want to battle some Pokemon with me? Beauty Sheila. Do you want to battle some Pokemon with you? <clears throat> Alright, so Eevee's gonna be easy. Uh, Brick Brick, right? Yep. This is why our rival evolved his Eevee finally. Got tired of us using Brick Break and Double Kick on it. Persian, uh, keep battling. Watch it use, uh, Fake Out on me. Since Persian apparently learns that move now. Let's see. Oh no, it's not. You should definitely have taught your Persian, uh, Fake Out. <laughs> Alright, Star Use 39. Maybe, I don't know why, I'm just gonna guess. 42, I'm gonna evolve Star You into Star Me. 
I don't know why that feels like a good level to me. For some reason, Pokemon learn their moves a lot faster, like at an earlier stage in this game. Um, and I think that's why Pikachu already tried to learn Thunder. Even though it's nowhere near where that level should be. What does the sign say? Trainer tips. Look, right there. Look on the other side of the... Oh my god. Look over there. It's a golden uh, pineapple berry. Like, you don't want to miss it. Alright, Pikachu, where's the item? Five silver nanap berries. Okay, I'll take those. I swear, the measures that Game Freak took in this game to hint at you for content to make sure you don't miss out or not know where to go. Alright, again, I can't seem to judge it what Pokemon Camper and Picnickers are going to use, so Pikachu. I'm not going to lose. Not when the wind's blowing my way. So you already got Tailwind? You already got Tailwind out? Parry? Growler. Splishy Splash. I feel like I have... Pikachu knows so many diverse moves right now. It's like... It's like, uh, shoot. What's, what's, what's... Like, I'm reminded of, if anyone saw it, the movie City Slickers. I think it was the first one. <clears throat> Where the ice cream guys, they're like, give me any kind of meal, and I will tell you the, um... I will tell you the perfect ice cream to uh, go with that meal. And it was like a little game. Like, they would list all these different uh, dishes. And it would be like, oh, like the stack cup of pistachio or whatever. I feel like it's like that. Throw a Pokemon at me, and I will have a counter with Pikachu ready in tow. <laughs> Alright, let's do another Splishy Splash. The wind turned. Yes, it did. Two great balls. I really don't like that the younger trainer models. Oh, was I supposed to make him walk to me? Dang it. Am I not going to be able to get that item? Am I really not going to be able to get that item? Route 14. Hey, we made it to Route 14. I'm going to get that item. <laughs> Even though it's a long walk. So I was supposed to make him walk to me. So that way he got out of the way. Full heal. All that for a full heal. All right. So I'm going to come back to right there, because I think I might have skipped a few trainers along the way. I know I skipped that guy, but I don't know if there were others nearby that I was supposed to uh, take on. And I'm not seeing Pikachu's tail wagging, so I don't think there's a hidden item. So we were down there already. We didn't take on this guy. What are you looking at? I don't know why I decided to bust out uh, Kuramara's voice from, uh, what was it, Yu Yu Hakusho, I think. You're a meshi! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Thunderbolt should take care of this gold bat. Alright, 47. Oh man, strip gears. I don't think I did that voice since like junior high. I don't know why it decided to make an appearance now of all times. Alright, so I need to take him on. But uh, yeah, Route 14. Uh, let's see if there's any hidden items right here. Pikachu's not wagging his tail. Alright, let's take on this guy. Let's see what he's got. We're almost done with the trainers right here. This picket fenced area. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to your Pokemon if you want to make them strong. Not necessarily, man. Not necessarily. Camper Carter. Alright, Thunderbolt. Should take care of this. So we're getting towards the high 40s, early 50s. I'm expecting Sabrina to be like level, um, 
Now I'll switch out. I'm expecting Sabrina to be like level, um, like level 50. I'm expecting her ace to be level 50 or like 51 or 52. Um, just cause Kogo was at like level 44 and 46. So that's where I think she's gonna be at. Um, let's do a Razor Leaf. Don't dig, Sucker Punch. Not good enough quite yet. Is Sucker Punch a TM? Because he mentioned you gotta teach TMs to your Pokemon to make them strong. And then, uh, I don't know, I kinda expected him to use TM moves. I saw Pikachu's tail wagging. Where's the item, boy? Is it down there in the grass? That sounded like a gloom. Alright, let's take on that one camper up there. And that will finish off the picketed fenced area for for some reason there's a ton of trainers here you can buy TMs at the Celadon department store too have you used TMs? yeah not only do I have TMs on my Pokemon I have special and secret technique moves on this Pikachu that you're about to tackle Flareon <laughs> Child's Play Splishy Splash I have noticed that's the second trainer that's used a Flareon um no, third trainer that's used a Flareon so far. We've seen the ones on uh, Riding Road that used flare the different EV evolutions. So does anyone else really use Vaporeon and Jolteon besides those guys on uh, on Riding Road? Apparently Flareon is the fan favorite of uh, this game, apparently, for the trainers. Aw, oh, bummer. 740. They're not really giving me a lot of money. Which, uh, I can't, I don't like. I need money. I need money. I need money, guys. Anything? No. Alright, so this is, um, the next route, right? Whoa, how do I get up? Oh, you go up. <laughs> Whoa! I so wasn't expecting this guy. Alright, alright. I'm not into it, but okay. Let's go. I have noticed that there are places in this game that keep saying, let's go. And it's like, I get it. We're playing Let's Go Pikachu, man. Stop peppering it in places. Alright, Thunderbolt should take care of this. Like at the very beginning, episode one, when we're talking to Oak. To Oak um, they're like, let's start your Pokemon adventure. Let's go. And then there's other people that are like, do you go to the Pokemon, to not the Pokemon store, or the, um, what is it, uh, Celadon City Department Store, they're like, do you go? Let's go! And then this guy, let's battle, let's go! I get it, we're playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. There's no need to keep repeating it. Benny! I just realized his name was Benny. Benny! Benny and the Jets! Oh, look at that Pokeball hidden right here. Hyper Potion. Alright, I'll take that. It's too bad we can't surf over there. Um, and see what water Pokemon we can find. Ooh, I'm gonna cut over here. Because I really want to go up there to that grassy area. And just see what, what pops up. But it looks like we got a couple of battles to take care of first. It's been a while, let me save. Save progress, yes please. Alright, take on this guy. I need to burn some time, shut up and battle. Punk guy Felix, wheezing. I don't have a trump move for wheezing. Um, let's see. Everything I have is special. I can't use Brick Break. Can I do Floaty Fall? I, it's not super effective, but I feel like Weezing's defense is lower than its special defense for some reason. Let's try it. Uh, 
Toxic. Of course you click Toxic. Pikachu, expel this Toxic. Get rid of it. Show him that we aren't afraid of being badly poisoned. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's just... That's just great partner powers right there. <laughs> what? You? That's right, we expel the toxic. <laughs> Alright, let's take on this guy. Anything right here? Nope. I leveled up my Pokemon, but it won't evolve. Why? Zeke. A choke. Floaty fall. So for Sabrina, I am planning to use Blastoise, which is a little genius. So the psychic type Pokemon are gonna be weak against bug, dark, and uh, ghost types. Any ghost type in this game, if you bring it in, they're poison type. So, why you? Bring them in and, like, it, I don't know. It, <laughs> it's so backwards. Because the psychic type Pokemon will do a lot of damage to the ghost type Pokemon and then vice versa. Um, Pidgeot. And then, I don't know. It... There aren't really any dark Pokemon in this game unless you trade for a Lolan Rattata. And then you got a dark Pokemon. Um, so Blastoise knowing Dark Pulse, I don't think there's anything her Psychic Tech Pokemon can do that would be super effective against Blastoise. Oh, there's really nothing popping up here. Um, so yeah, I think having Blastoise come in with Dark Pulse is going to be great. Um... Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything in here in this grass. Alright, so I guess I'm not going to bother with it. Alright, so we're on Route 14, I think. 14? Yeah. Uh, making our way to Route 15. So I think I'm going to wrap up the episode right here. And next time, we will continue on through Route 14 and 15. And hopefully make it to Fuchsia City. And hopefully nothing rare pops up above me as I'm ending this episode. So... If you enjoyed today's episode, please hit that like button, support the new channel, and all that good stuff. Holy cow, a Venomoth. A Venomoth is the rare spawn here. Okay, good to know. And I will see you guys next time.